Welcome back, everybody. We're going to take a quick over the last 18 hours, just so we can see some of those storms rolling through last night. Had some showers a little later into the evening, then they cleared out overnight into this morning, and then we have plenty of clear skies as we continue getting into these early afternoon hours. Now, currently, we do have 84 degrees in San Angelo. Winds coming from the east at about 7 miles an hour, and around the rest of the region, we do have low to mid 80s, with the exception down in Ozona is at 88 right now, so a little bit cooler than what we've had over the last couple of days. So we don't have a whole lot going on. Some very stray clouds off to the east of Mason County right now, but otherwise, we have plenty of clear skies at the moment, but that could be changing as we get a little later on into these evening hours. We do have a severe weather outlook for most of the Contra Valley region. It's going to be sitting in the slight category, and that's going to be heavier rain showers, stronger wind gusts, potential lightning, and even hail could be developing with storms that are expected to be coming in as we get into these evening hours. Winds are going to be pretty consistent from the south later on this afternoon, 5 to 10 miles per hour, and then Picking up speed as we get into about 5, 6 o'clock, we will be getting 10 to 15 miles per hour. Highs are expected to be mostly in the upper 80s to the low 90s for Contra Valley. So it's going to be about 10 degrees, 10 to 15 degrees cooler than what we had over the last couple of days. Now tonight, we are going to be dropping to 69 degrees. Some spotty showers and thunderstorms are expected. South winds 10 to 15 miles per hour are going to continue to stick with us as we get into tomorrow, 97 for a high, so a bit warmer than today. Partly cloudy skies throughout the day. Rain chances are expected in the early morning hours and then the late evening hours as we get into tomorrow. So looking at our future cast here, we'll see some of those showers kind of pushing their way back into the area. And then as we get into Saturday morning, we have some storms that are going to be pushing from east to west. So it's a little unusual, but it is going to kind of bring in some cooler air from the northeast as we get into Saturday. So we will have plenty of moisture that's going to be fueling a lot of this. We'll be relatively, we're still going to have more moisture because most of the dry air is going to be sitting to western Texas and into New Mexico. But for us, we aren't going to be as humid as the majority of the state of Texas. So we're just going to be in this little pocket of uh, relatively moist air in the area. Now, breaking down our forecast for what we can expect for Memorial Day, 91 is expected for our high. We'll have partly cloudy skies throughout the day. And then evening showers and thunderstorms are expected to develop as we get Monday overnight into Tuesday. So if you have afternoon grilling, that shouldn't be a problem. But if you get into the evening hours, we will have sh uh, showers and thunderstorms developing. And as we continue getting through the week into the weekend, maintaining 90s for highs and then dropping down to low 80s for next week, Tuesday and Wednesday. Coming up after the break, find out how some retailers retailers closing for good and how one farmer in the UK is helping his community with a different method of grocery delivery. You're watching KLST News.